if you're Albany because he's not going to be able to play, but Davion Mintz is out with an illness who uh, has been averaging about 20 minutes a night and was really good the other night as well against Ohio. But he is out tonight, and we'll get more on his situation when this game is over, but just got word of that here right before tip. So a, an opportunity for some other guys to get some minutes, and luckily for Kentucky, this is a relatively deep basketball team, one of the deeper ones they've had in quite some time. Kyle's talked about being able to go 11 deep, so you're you're missing three guys tonight, so it's going to be a great opportunity for guys who maybe not be able to get as many minutes as they like in the first three games. The opportunity is here tonight to really impress your coach. So they're going to give the basketball to Albany after the violation on the tip, so the Great Danes will start this one, and they're half of the court. This is an Albany team searching for their first win of the year. 0-4. Now, they have played some tough games and will continue that under their first-year head coach, Dwayne Killings. First shot of the game. Rebounded by, guess who? Oscar Shibwe. And it begins, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> the first of what should be many. Shibwe averaging 16 and a half rebounds a game. Albany really worked on this pick and roll defense and their shoot around this morning, Dave. They really talked about trapping this, the, the ball, especially when it kind of is in the front court on the side. And they were going to definitely trap the first ball screen. I think it's something to get them moving defensively, get them a little confident. Ty Ty Washington, shot clock hits 10. Wheeler, corner three. Brooks fires off the front of the rim. Sheepway with an offensive rebound. His numbers on offensive rebounds are crazy. 33.6% of Kentucky's misses. He gets them. Double team there. Past Wheeler. Grady. Brooks. Got it. Keon Brooks gets to the logo and buries it. Really nice ball movement there. And then nice patience by Brooks to just get in the lane, get two feet under him, make a nice little jump hook. Jamel Horton out of Queens, New York, the senior, averaging a little over seven points a game with the basketball. Dre Perry, he knocks home a three. That's another thing, Dave, they talked about again, is throwing the ball back on the on the ball screen. Don't go, keep going to the strong side. Throw it back for the open shooter. Shibwe will head to the line as he uses that strength. It's exactly what Coach Cal was telling him to do at shoot around today. Quit messing around, get the ball, go straight up. Yeah, he shot a couple fadeaway hooks, uh, did a little pump fake, and he's like, get, get that shoulder on him, use that strength. When you put that shoulder on him, young man, guess what they're going to do? They're going to move. Nobody's going to block that shot because they're going backwards. Shibwe left that one short. He's now 7 out of 10 at the free throw line, but another opportunity is Wheeler. Kisses it off the window. Cannot go to sleep when he's in the area. Just has a nose for the ball. That's Rudy. Albany's had a tough time shooting threes this year, under 30% as a group, but they hit their first one tonight. Coach Killings was really happy with the looks they get. He just says they're not knocking them down. They get a look here, and that one off the rim, and Shibwe with another rebound. Off to Wheeler. Here's that tempo that Coach Cal likes to see from this group. Shot clock down to 10. Shibwe working on Newman. And again, they just the patience of the big man. You got size, you got strength. You're going to be able if you if you use those things and take your time. You're going to be able to move, excuse me, maneuver yourself to whatever position you want, you want on the floor. Just raise up and shoot. Great job. Speaking of raising up and shooting the basketball, that's off the mark for Perry. Sheepway with another rebound. Nice ball fake by Grady. Can't get it to go and. That'll be a foul on Shibwe. That's the one that Cal was talking about today when he was, we were interviewing him. That's the one that he's got to let go. 
I mean, it's not straight above him. The guy did a good job boxing out, taking him back. That's where you got to keep your hands vertical, not let him go over the guy's back because it's an easy call. He says sometimes, because she weighs so big, he gets whistled right. for that when he just gets the rebound straight up over a guy. But it looks like there's a foul on him, and he's trying, he's talking to these officials right now about that. Coach Cal barking at Mike Nance right now. See if he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying you're right. See, oh, I see. know. You're cha 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 right there. I like to see that. And what was that, a waltz? What was that? <laughs> He did that with our dancing with the stuff. He was using our producer Todd Jones today to shoot around. Todd held his own though. <laughs> oh, there's a poke by Hutchison. Hangs in the air. Got that one to go down. Hutchinson, the junior out of Marion, Iowa, averaging six points a game. Damian Collins, who just checked in for Shibwe. Washington misses, gets it back, knocks that one home. Yeah, that's where if Albany's going to have any chance at all. And if it's being very difficult right now. They've got to try to limit these second chance opportunities. Good look from the corner, but that won't drop for Hutchison. Another chance, and that one goes down for Dre Perry. Sheboy gets out of the game, and things change a little bit. Wheeler. Ball's out of bounds. 15-21 to go opening half. Kentucky out in front by three. Back in a moment. Was a ball boy at UMass when Coach Cal was coaching the Minutemen. So a lot of connections. You see uh, Bruiser Flint there on this bench for the Wildcats, but emotional gathering of those guys before the game today. I got to watch that sh the shoot around today and just very impressed with the positivity, the energy, the organization of how he was running the shoot around and the messages he was getting to his players. Albany's got him a good one. Going to try to get this program back on track. They went seven and nine last year, six and six in the American East Conference. There he was. Of course, that's not his ball boy days. That's when he was a walk on for Coach Flint. But uh, he is an Amherst native and. About an hour and a half away from Amherst, coaching at Albany. There's old Bruiser Flint, who gets on that bench. A couple of coaches left. Joel Justice, of course, an assistant at Arizona State. Meanwhile, Tony Barbie's now the head coach at Central Michigan, who will be in here on uh, next Monday. Orlando Antigua also on that bench. Good to see Orlando catching up with him. One of my favorite coaches I've had a chance to be around over the last 20 years or so. Looks like Shibwe might have a little blood on his hand. He got that situated. Shibwe already with four rebounds. Oh, nice inbounds play. Kentucky got lost, and the great Danes able to have the easiest basket they might have all night. The Cardinal mistake. Guard the paint. Make them up. Worse. Kick the ball out to the three. Bad communication. Xavier Wheeler. Shibwe. Back to Grady. Grady trying to look for his shot. Just nothing there so far. Shibwe steps out. A little 19 footer. Gets it to go. They really encourage him to shoot that. He talked a little bit in some clippings that I read about how he was didn't feel comfortable shooting that at West Virginia because he didn't feel like he got encouragement to shoot that. But you can, it's probably he's encouraged to shoot it now though because he's worked on it. That's a nice looking shot. Well, it changes the scouting report on him when he starts knocking those down. Nice entry pass, quickly double teamed in the post as Paul Newman. That won't go. 
Here comes Kentucky. Ty Ty Washington in the open floor. Now to the middle. Little floater. Just really like that, David. I mean, gets in there amongst the, the crowd, but doesn't force anything. Takes his time and just explodes off two feet under control. There's Calipari talking to us about trying to get his guys to shoot more of those floaters, especially with Shibway on the floor, because if they miss it, he's right there to pick yeah. up the easy offensive rebound. Boy, a nice little step back jumper from Sarudi, who's their leading scorer, 12 and a half a game. Albany's Achilles heel so far this season has been turning the ball over and not being able to knock down shots. Thus far, those things are working for him. Bryce Hopkins, the freshman out of Oak Park, Illinois, steps on that baseline. The turnover gives it back to, to uh, the Great Danes. Albany has hit half their 10 shots tonight. And two out of four from behind the arc as well. Hanging in here, just down two for a team that's 0 and 4. Kentucky with this pressure wants to get this pace going a little bit better. Get those guards from Albany working harder. That will maybe turn into some short shots, harder shots later in the game that will enable them to win. Again, no Davion Mintz tonight. He is out with an illness. Well, the bench a little bit shorter. Wheeler. He is fouled on the way to the basket. He'll head to the free throw line. Dave, I love that because he started to drive baseline, saw there was nothing there instead of dribbling in, into nothing. Back dribbled out and got the ball back to the middle and was able to maneuver into the little into the middle and then get fouled. I mean, just again, this is a veteran, a guy who's been around that doesn't feel like, oh my gosh, I got the ball, I gotta make something happen. He's probing, he's looking, and usually nine times out of ten, something good comes out of it. Luke Fizzlewich picks up that foul. Keon Brooks back on the floor. Hopkins heads back to the bench. I mentioned the short bench. Lance Ware still out for Kentucky. They're also missing Toppet. He's still out with that bad shoulder. Great Danes get the timeout before the violation. Yeah, we'll take it with them. It's a three-point Kentucky. It over, so they've corrected some things, knocking down some shots. They're hanging around. Shibway playing many more minutes than he did against Ohio. Just two minutes, he picked up two fouls. That basically the entire first half, and no points in that. Ohio game, but did produce double-figure rebounds with 10, averaging 16 and a half per game. If he has a big game here today. He could have the the record for rebounds through the first five games of the season. Mm. That'll work. <laughs> Justin Neely, the freshman out of Miami, getting on the board. It's kind of calmly as we were talking about the Kentucky bigs taking their time back in the man down and getting where he wants. He gives them a little taste of their own medicine. Wheeler. Here's Brooks. Been too strong rebound into the hands of Neely. Doing a nice job of staying in front of Kentucky defensively in that possession. Neely's coming off his best game of the season at 15 points against Eastern Kentucky. Was struggling before that with just 3 of 16 from the field until he got cranked up in their last game. Shibwe, the easy rebound. Ty Ty in the lane and counted. He'll head to the line. That's what we want to do for Kentucky. We want to get out. We want to force a tough shot, get it out. And then if you're, if you're Albany, you've got to get back. You've got to get to that paint. You gotta close it down, make them shoot pull-up jumpers. But again, really, that's the first time tonight there's been yeah. that situation, and that's a credit to great scouting report and then the players following through with that. Nine minutes, that's really the first 
all-out break that we've seen Kentucky be able to get. Ty Ty, six out of seven at the line coming into this game. Breon, Keon Brooks keeps it alive just for a moment. Aaron Reddish, the younger brother of Cam Reddish, who's with the Atlanta Hawks now on the floor for the Great Danes. Wears number 10 in the black jersey. Baseline jumper no good from Doles. Here's Wheeler. See how he just pulls that out, Dave. He doesn't take it into nothing and force up a bad shot. Probably a, a younger player, a less experienced player would do that. Instead, you drive it. You're probing, you're probing, you're probing. Get a little drive. The guy helps a little too much. Step in wide open three for Washington. First three of the game for Kentucky. Ty Ty Washington now four of 13 from behind the arc. Well, Saruti can really shoot the three, but takes it inside on this one. No whistle. Rebound into the hands of Dante Allen. Ty Ty keeps it alive. Here's Allen. Alley oop. A little too strong. Well, Allen knew as soon as he let it go, he knew it was a little too much. It's too much oop, even for she <laughs> <Yeah>, <laughs> Kick out, Saruti inside again. High arching shot off the mark from Doles. Boy, Kentucky is trying to push it, but Albany's getting three, four guys back every time. You know, they look, they look a little fatigued. I mean, we talked about eight players. I mean, that's a concern. Foul on Horton as he reaches in on Wheeler. That'll be his first. So Kentucky will inbound it on the baseline. Ty Ty Washington to the bench. So Shibwe, Grady, Wheeler, Brooks, and Dante Allen on the floor for Kentucky. I feel like Grady's got to get going. He's got to get moving. Playing off that penetration by Wheeler. They need to find some open looks for him. He's got to move and make himself available. Brady averaging nine points a game. Tonight he's 0 for 1 from the field. Wide open. There you go. Right on cue, Joe. I saw that coming, baby. And I heard Cal talking to him today about how he wasn't effective in the last game and he was effective before. And he's like, you got to work for it. You can't just give in to, well, hey, they're covering me. Pen penetration. Got to move to the open spot. Great job by Grady. Here's Perry, gets it to Neely. Now, Justin in traffic, and that'll be an offensive foul. This is a good job. Get those hands up there. I mean, people are looking at that, and they're going, hey, he's moving a little bit, but you show those hands and you don't go forward, you got a chance of getting that call. Severe Wheeler. Classic Wheeler. He's coming. <laughs> You're on defense. You better find him. You better stop him because he's coming. Wheeler with five now. Three assists to his credit. Eight, 18 to go. First half. Cats have stretched this out to double figures now. It's a 10-0 run. Chance to build upon that here, but Brooks throws it away. Tried to hit Grady. Let him too much. Look who cows. Look who cows for now. Again, this guy's coming. Number five. Number two. You got to get in the lane. You got to make him kick that for a three. You don't want to give up a wide open three, but he's going all the way to the rim on this turnover right here, Dave. I saw this two or three times yesterday at practice where the outlet guy threw it to Brooks or threw it to Ty Ty. Xavier, Xavier. And Wheeler is standing over there, and he stopped practice and just get him the ball. So here taking a seat now. 
Shot clock down to one. Shibway with the rebound, lost it, got it back, lost it. Great Danes now with an opportunity. Little, that won't go. Just gave Shibway an opportunity for another rebound. Moses Malone. That's it. Moses, <laughs> how many rebounds did he get by oh, tapping it to himself? He did. <laughs> it was so frustrating to guard him. I mean, because he, he, he couldn't get around him. He just he put that backside on you and you were done. Another turnover by Kentucky. Jump shot is good. Trey Hutchinson. Good shooter. Just got to walk right into it. Little zone here. Albany wanted to switch up defenses. Wanted to do some things to keep Kentucky out of rhythm. Ty Ty rallying that free throw line, but there will be a three pointer on the way off the mark from Allen. Tapped around. Chibwe hustling for that missed shot, but a foul on Trey Hutchison. And that'll get us to a timeout. Kentucky's lead is eight. Chibwe came into this with 66. So sit him with 75 right now. He's got a chance to uh, certainly surpass that. Now the most rebounds in the five, first five games with the team in the past 25 years, in the first five games, Michael Beasley at Kansas State had 83 back in 2007. That pass intercepted by Dre Perry. And a foul on the floor. That'll go against Kellen Grady. All day in shoot around today, they wanted to attack him, and they also wanted to attack that ball screen, and that's what led to this turnover. They did a great job aggressively trapping that side ball screen, and then everybody had their hands up, got a deflection, got a break situation. Saruti. Fort. Gets a screen up top from Newman. Ooh. Oh, and a one-handed flush from Dre Perry. The transfer from Temple throwing it down. Ooh. Ooh. He didn't look scared to go in there, did he, Dave? No. Six-point game. Again, trapping, being aggressive in that ball, ball screen. Guys got to make themselves available if they're going to be that aggressive on that ball screen. Nice shot by Hopkins. Yeah, Hopkins took the bump, little fade away, got it to go. Hopkins first basket. Back to an eight-point game. Kentucky's largest lead was 11 at 25 to 14. So Rudy. Got to the logo and made Kentucky pay. Well, they're just moving that ball at, at will off the dribble from side to side. Just not getting a lot of resistance defensively. Not feeling a lot of pressure. Again, with the 14 that has been turning it over, they're doing an awesome job. Ty Ty Washington too strong. Hopkins with the long rebound. Go to work. Shibwe. He's got to go to work there, man. Back to Shibwe. Shot clock at five. Offensive foul. Shibwe lowered the shoulder. See, the first time he got the ball, the guy was directly behind him. He was in a better position, from my point of view, to just get in there to the middle of the lane and shoot that left-hand hook. Here, he's sitting on that. He's got to go too far. He, he, was, he almost had a foot in the lane on that first catch. He just wasn't ready to go to work. He's got to, he's got to, when that ball comes in there like that to him, but they don't double team him, get to that left shoulder. Here's Little. Off to Perry. Over Hopkins, too strong. High tie. Back the other way now. Grady, pull up three on the way. No good. And the rebound into the hands of Paul Newman. Off the mark, Brady the rebound. Careless turnover by Kentucky. 
That's nine turnovers by Kentucky. It's the most in a half this season. Again, Albany doing a nice job getting back, doing a good job on the pick and roll with an aggressive style of defense, really blitzing it, getting having active hands, getting towards the ball. Kentucky getting a little bit impatient, trying to force some things, turning into turnovers. They wanted to do that. They talked about it, Albany did today, changing defenses and being very aggressive on the pick and roll. So, so far, so good. In and out, just off the mark for Perry. Here comes Wheeler. Oh. I don't know how you stop that. You got to give up a three. I mean, you got to get two feet in the lane. You got to, you definitely got to take away his left hand. You don't take away that left hand. That's an all day sucker right there. Well, we've been watching that for three years. And yeah. everybody said take away, but nobody seems yeah. to be able to do it. Easier said than done. Nice entry pass and a bucket. Kettner gets on the board, his first basket of the game. Albany has been really able to penetrate Kentucky's defense and get the spots in the lane that's created great opportunities to score. Boy, that's just a tough shot for Washington. Took it right into traffic. But when he went up to shoot, he had good balance. I mean, again, I, I said that at the start of the game. That was the thing that really stuck out to me is he, he can really get in there, and at 6'6", six, six, he gets off two feet very well. That three's no good. Big rebound there from Neely. Here's a three from Horton. He got that to go. Five-point game. Thirteen three-point attempts in the first half by Albany. They've hit four. Albany not scared here at Rupp Arena tonight. Perry catching the ball on the wing. Nice ball reversal. Bad closeout off the penetration. 11 points, three rebounds. Ty Ty coming off that solid game versus Ohio with a double-double, 20 points, 12 rebounds, five assists. Only the third Kentucky player under Coach Cow with those numbers. A 20-point, double-figure rebound, five-plus assists. Really impressed with the 12 rebounds. Especially with Shibway out there. <laughs> right, <laughs> trying to find a rebound, it's tough. Yeah, there's not many. Oh, good defense there as Kentucky double teams the basketball. Wheeler. Nice job by Albany getting back and walling it off. Man, that won't go, and free throws coming up for Kentucky. Just a little bit of ball reversal. I mean, Wheeler again comes down, he probes it, doesn't try to force it, pulls it out, and then you get the defense shifting, you get the guys running at Washington, which makes it much easier to get by somebody. And then again, with his length, he's able to get in there and have a positive play. Second foul on Saruti, the team's leading scorer. He will head to the bench for the final 151 of this first half. Well, you start looking at these numbers, and, you know, Kentucky's holding Albany to 37% shooting. They're out-rebounding them 21-7. to 7. But Albany's still hanging around. It's really those turnovers, nine first-half turnovers for the Cats. Those are the great equalizer, really, in any sport. Errors in baseball, turnovers in football, basketball. Drive coaches, managers, driving nuts. Talking to Xavier Wheeler today at practice. Talking to me about the attention to detail here at Kentucky. Of course, a couple of years at Georgia. He says he loves the spotlight. Being in Kentucky, how things just are just magnified tenfold based on being just about anywhere else. But he says he really enjoys it. Loves the fan base, loves the attention. Feels the love from the crowd. And you hear Cal a lot of times you see him recruiting guys, some of these videos and stuff, and he'll look at a recruit and go, this ain't for everybody. Right. <laughs> exactly. You, know, you better you better embrace it because 
here you are in the spotlight. 24-7, 365. Wow. Nice work from Jarvis Whoa. Doles. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. That looked like Kevin McHale. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doles transfers in from Drexel, a grad transfer. Coming off a season high six against Eastern Kentucky, and that one goes down for Wheeler. Nice little friendly soft bounce off the iron. You've had a Moses Malone reference, a Kevin <laughs> McHale reference. You're starting to date yourself a little bit. I know. <laughs> Youngsters at home are going. Uh, here's Collins. Getting ready to throw a little Avery Johnson at you right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's another good one. The tap from Brooks. And now Kentucky getting a little bit of separation. Getting some turnovers, getting the transition going, attacking and making good decisions. Second chance here. Shot clock is turned off. Game clock at five. Little floater off the window is no good, but another opportunity blocked there by Brooks. And that'll do it for the first half. Kentucky shoots 59%. They out rebound Albany 23 to 9. Ty Ty Washington and double figure. Well, the Great Danes searching for their first win of the year. Meanwhile, Kentucky trying to stretch their winning streak to four. We'll see how this plays out as Kentucky, as we talked about, 10th ranked team in the country alongside Alabama, both tied at number 10 in the latest AP rankings. Here's Keon Brooks. Brady. One for three in the first half was Brady. That was a three-point shot. And a good start for Keon Brooks, Jr. Now with six points, two, three out of five from the field. He can hit that shot. He is a big problem because he can get him in the pick and roll and he can play in space like that. It's going to be a mismatch. So if you're Coach Cowley at halftime, what was, your, what, what was your message? Well, I think you just got to stay calm. You got to you got to really point out the positive things you're doing and just say, hey, look, guys, we clean up some possessions in that first half. We're up 16, 18 points. Brooks aggressive to the basket, nothing to show for it. You'd like to see him there with that length. Again, I know he's going fast like that, but if you could get him to go off of two feet and just raise up with that length. Second wow. chance opportunity and a foul. Perry will head to the free throw line. Perry just pulled a Shibway on Shibway. Just stuck with it. Got, got, made a nice dribble into the lane, got a good up and under, missed the shot, but stuck with it. And Shibwe just picked up his third foul of the game. Big, big decision here for Kyle. We've seen when Shibwe was out of the game in the first half, things got a little bit easier, especially in the paint for Albany. I think you got to take him out. And this is, he's got to really learn from these situations because you start getting into conference play or you start playing Notre Dame and Louisville and Kansas and some of the, some of the Ohio State and the teams that are coming up, you can't be losing minutes for silly fouls. So one out of two for Perry. Here's a takeaway. Sir Rudy, a transfer from Division II Lock Haven College. On the wing now, ball fake to the logo, and that one is rejected by Ty Ty Washington. Grady has his pocket pick. Loose ball on the floor, and it'll be Kentucky. Good effort by the Cats. Ty Ty Washington, three on three. <laughs> Just how Cal drew it up. 
Damian Collins going way up top to throw that one down. Great hustle by Wheeler. And a foul counted. Paul Newman will head to the free throw line. But how about Damian Collins with a 7-5 wingspan and a second best 42 inch vertical lead getting up here. Just great hustle getting on the floor, getting the ball. Just great vision by Washington. I think I could throw that long with that length, that vertical. That's saying a lot because I didn't like to pass it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I would have tried to pass up poorly, so Coach would, Sutton would have told me, hey, you don't need to be passing. But I, I think I don't even think I could have missed up that one. A lot of folks may not know this, but you actually played a year under Coach Calipari. Yeah, well, I don't know if it was a year. <laughs> <laughs> it was about two months it was in his first year for uh, New Jersey, and it was uh, – he and every time I see him, he and I just, we, we have stories and laugh about it. I mean, just, he, you know, I look at it, I, I look at the people now around him and they're like, man, he's high strung. I said, you have no idea. <laughs> so you're saying he's kind of taking it down oh, a notch or two. He's mellowed. He, he's, he's so mellow now. It's, it's, it's fun to watch, but man, what a great coach. I asked him if you were coachable and he just started laughing. <laughs> Well, he asked me one time if my man backed up off of me, and I was Turner Gill was a great player that we had. A kid out of Illinois was posting up in the post. He said, what do you do when you get the elbow and the guy backs off you to get in front of Turner Gill? I said, well, I don't know what you're doing, <laughs> but I'm shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, and I think that's what he had to kind of understand in the NBA. You, you know, we all thought we were scoring. Yeah. <laughs> Brooks looks like he got a little dinged up. Going to head to the free throw line. Brooks at the line for two. Vladimir Voyard to Dahl. Having a chat with Keon as he gets to the free throw line. Didn't affect his free throw shooting. No. So Brooks now with eight points, four rebounds. Sheboy back on the floor with three fouls. He and Collins on the floor alongside with Washington, Wheeler, and Dante Allen. See, it'd be interesting to see if what they do offensively, Albany, if they really recognize an attack. Boy, they did. They went right at him. Good job of verticality by Sheba. That's the third on Collins. And again, nice job jumping, going straight up and down. Collins got to see that instead of coming so hard. I think he could have got that with his length and ability. That's that. He wasn't going to score that over Sheba. Got to recognize. Hutchinson. At the line, out of Marion, Iowa, the junior. Averaging over six points a game, had nine in the last outing against Eastern Kentucky. Wholesale changes. Dwayne Killings wants one more substitution. Aaron Reddish, the freshman out of Norristown, Pennsylvania, but played his high school basketball in Georgia at Pebble Brook High School, an outstanding program. He will defend the inbound pass, knocks it away. Wheeler double team calls a quick timeout. Can't throw it to that. So we'll take the break as well. Eight point game here in Rupp. So. Well, Severe Wheeler 
Nine points, three assists, three rebounds. He's had a tough time getting getting his game going. And give credit to Albany. They're making it hard for Kentucky to get these runouts. Yep, they, they've been changing up their defense. They're coming out in a little bit of a point zone, 2-3, two, maybe 1-2-2. Two, two. And again, it's a tough shot. Ball's got to move side to side, get some penetration into the gaps and kick it. Up and under move, no good. Second chance opportunity for Perry and they're going to say traveling violation will give it back to the Cats. Well, they're coming at them, Dave. I mean, they're, they're not backing down. They're attacking them. Doing a nice job, but down here at the other end against that zone. I mean, Cal talked about it yesterday in practice at nauseum that the ball's got to move. you got to drive it to the yep. nail, drive it to the elbow, kick it, look for the post up on the inside. Reverse it. Well, Kentucky averages 17 assists per game, an outstanding number, but today it's just five. Yep. And a lot of that is guys missing shots, obviously, but not getting great shots. Again, no, no penetration against the zone. Those are shots that you can get pretty much any time you want. Another opportunity here for Horton. Kicks it out to the corner, and Hutchinson can't get it to go. Allen, good rebound. Here's Wheeler on the open floor. Takes it himself. Little contact and got it to go. Nice job getting in there, getting that left shoulder on Perry, and then just moving that ball a little bit over, shooting it with the right hand. Ten-point game. Kentucky's largest lead tonight has been a dozen. Shibway with his tenth rebound of the game. Again, just having trouble getting any kind of penetration. There's the kick. Shot won't go. Brooks, though, weak side rebound, and he'll head to the free throw line. Good work by Keon Brooks. As Horton picks up his second foul. So a timeout on the... It's a game where you feel like it's teetering right on the edge, Dave, where... They're, they're getting Albany to shoot the ball a little quick here in the second half, and they've been able to show that they've been able to get a little bit of run outs and things. They're taking some, all, but you got to give credit to Albany. They've done a nice job walling, walling them off, making them play in the half court for, for a lot more than Kentucky would want to, and they're doing a good job. And Kentucky has not done a, a great job. They've done an okay job of running their half court sets. Shibwe and Collins both with three fouls. And over and back against the Great Danes will give it to Kentucky. And just little things like that that you, you just don't see in the stat sheet, the ball pressure, the turning him, and just giving your team another possession. Those are things that you can't measure as, as a coach and things that help your team tremendously. Washington trying to get it going here in the second half. Gets his own miss. Maybe that'll get him started. Now up to 15 points to lead everybody. Nice job staying with him like on a pogo stick. Missed the floater. Bounced right up and got it. For an easy two. Largest lead of the game now for Kentucky. That won't go for Justin Neely. Here okay. comes Ty Ty Washington. Another quick shot, one pass possession by Albany. That's what Kentucky wants. Ty Ty, no good. Reddish, back to Saruti. They've done a nice job on Saruti tonight. Five points. As I say that, he almost. Knocks on that three. <laughs> Lined one up on yeah. you, Dave. <laughs> Wheeler catch shoots. No good. His first three-point attempt off the iron and a rebound underneath. Sheboy just picked up number four. He, just a nice little floater there by Washington, and then he stays with it. You're always taught 
as a jump shooter follow your shot. That holds true when you're shooting a floater, especially if you're 6'5", got some length, and the guy's challenging the shot. Stay with him. Yeah, Coach Cowles, that's what he was talking about. Again, it's no. the guy's moving him out of the way. The little guy gets underneath you, and it looks like the big guy's fouling you. But right. And just it's that perception of over the back. That's really not over the back if he's going straight up for the ball. Boy, wow. nice move from Dre Perry. Those are tough. That is a tough shot. Transfer out of Temple. Wheeler. Speaking of tough shot, the little guy can't get it to go in there with the tall timber. Savir sometimes might forget he's 5'9". That was the first time tonight that I kind of felt he got in and was a little out of control. Yeah. But he still almost made it. Boy, threw that one right into the hands of Perry. Up ahead to Horton. And an offensive foul. Boy, Wheeler drawing that charge. The third on Holton, uh, Horton. That's what you look at. Talk about maturity. He threw the ball away. Ooh. Didn't put his head down. Didn't pout. Got in there and took one off the chin. Boy, did he ever take one off the chin. But didn't quit on the play. Made a, made a terrible pass, made a horrendous pass. It was over. He didn't turn one mistake into two. They were trapping and crowding him. They got to look for that throwback. They're extending it, no trapping. He's got to throw that ball back to Washington, let Washington attack the ball from the weak side. They're just going to crowd him anytime he's in a pick and roll. Both teams just won for their last seven from the field. Catch and shoot. Washington knocks it home. Ty Ty with his second three of the game. He's up to 18 points. Great find by Wheeler. Ready to be ready to catch and shoot. So Rudy kicks it out to Neely. Here we go. Here's the run out. Ty Ty. Look out. Yep. And a foul as Grady goes flying to the rim. Again, that's what that press and that pressure. You shoot the ball quick. Kentucky out rebounding them all night long. Get out into the open floor. This is what Cal wants. Cal wants pace. Pace, pace, pace. Run, run, run. Second foul on Justin Neely as Grady hits to the free throw line. Not a lot of free throws for him. Just his second free throw of the season. Now one out of two for Grady. I think that's something that he's got to develop. Again, Cal talked to him yesterday. He can't just be taken out of the game because they want to stay at home on him because he's got to move his feet, make himself available, and now he's got to get to where when he catches the ball, people are going to be running at him like crazy. He's a good enough athlete where he should be able to get that ball in there, and then he's got good enough size. The next step is for him to get that ball in there and start finishing and making plays. Count the basket. Goaltending against Brooks. That looked like he took it. Switching up the defense. Albany into the zone. Get the ball moving inside out. There you go. Skip. That's how you do it right there. Ooh. Good things are going to happen when that ball moves side to side, inside and out against the zone. Collins hops up. He looks to be good. Kentucky came to help dedicate that gymnasium. 
in the name of Terrence Clark. Just a great honor for a man that was lost way, way too early. Hats off to all the individuals, all the companies, organizations to step up and honor him. Just like you said, gone way too soon. Collins at the free throw line. Now a 15 point advantage, the largest of the night for Kentucky. To Rudy. Oh, the shot clock is. Simmons was a mess. Yeah. It went back to 35. I don't yeah. think Kentucky ever had a, a handle of that basketball. Well, it's just getting, it was looking up at the clock because they were really doing a nice job of not getting any, into anything, closing out, active hands. Look, you know, looked up. It was... yeah, Kentucky was going to have to defend for about 50 yeah. seconds on that possession. I think they just realized it as well that there's something going on with the shot clock. It should say 1.9. It says 19. There, Coach Cal, letting us know screaming 1.9. Catch and shoot, blocked there by Collins, and that'll be a shot clock violation. Yeah, it was at 19 too. Yeah. I was like. Almost got that shot off with the long arms. Well, it's a long, lean group on the floor right now for Kentucky with Brooks, Ty Ty, Grady, down low, Damian Collins. Yeah, they start extending those arms and getting active hands defensively. Won't be a lot of daylight down there for Albany on the offensive end. Here's Brooks. Well, that's a tough there ask of Hutchinson. There you go. It's a great job there. Take your time. You've got the size advantage. Make them come double team. If they don't come double team, you got a mouse in the house. Turn around. A little too strong underneath, though, is Hutchinson. I'll tell you what, Brooks has given him some quality minutes tonight. He's really played well here in the second half. He's followed up. You know, he had a good game against Ohio, and he's, he's really come out with some re energized at halftime maybe Cal gave him a little pep talk but just mu much more active 11.7 rebounds for Keon Brooks Jr. preseason all SEC second team member coach Cal saying about Brooks's game this year just way better much more skilled put a lot of work in in the offseason I think we're seeing some of that here the last few games You know, I think that's part of having a veteran team, too, yeah. right? You can spend more time with guys like that. They understand the system. They can grow. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Nowadays, they just, just start getting ready to grow, and then they're gone. Well, the second team littered with Kentucky players, Brooks, Grady, and Shibwe. Darius Day is down there. He's the SEC Player of the Week. Well, he's going to be a tough out for a lot yeah. of teams around the conference. He's a mismatch man. He's, he can be a bruiser if you want. He can be a face-up guy. Another turnover by the Cats. That is the 13th of the night. I love the play. That's I think that's just a little getting on the same page with each, each other. Yeah. 
Collins playing with those three fouls. Gets his paw up there, blocks that shot from Jarvis Doles. You, you start moving a guy with that kind of length, and you can't get around him, you better ball fake him, because you're not shooting it over him. Good find. Great, he knew it the moment it left his hand. Give that little hop like this is going to be good. <laughs> Just good offense. Pack the pick and roll. They've done a nice job of that. They've done a nice job changing their defenses and keeping the Wildcats in front of them. They just can't make open shots. And, and Coach Killings talked about that. He said, we've had a lot of successful plays, a lot of successful things that we've done. We've just got to finish it with names. To Rudy, kicks it to Neely. That won't go. Washington the rebound. He now has six of those, also three assists. Will take it himself. The follow yeah. by Collins. Stayed involved in the play, Collins did. Didn't just stand there and watch it. Followed it up. Good job. In all fairness to Albany, too, I don't think they've shot over... Uh, hands as high as this. No. <laughs> and they won't the rest of the year. <laughs> like he said, this is a long, long team. Little scoop shot from Jamel Horton, the senior out of Queens, New York. Wheeler kicks it corner. Grady. Can't get it to go. Rebound to Dre Perry. Just the 19th rebound of the game for Albany. Oh, nice play. Got a little blood on Ty Ty Washington's elbow. They'll get that cleaned up, so stoppage on the floor. I'm sure, but Notre Dame, Ohio State, they're going to be able to bring a little more Length, a little more strength, probably shooting, just everything's going to go up a notch. That's why these games are so important right now, so you can get some film on them, point out mistakes that may not necessarily cost you games. But mistakes like that against the teams that are getting ready to play can be devastating. Foul against Saruti. One game that wasn't on there is on New Year's Eve. High point comes to town, and Tubby Smith, Orlando Tubby Smith, the former Kentucky coach who won a national championship with the Cats, coming back. They're going to raise his name up in the rafters here at Rupp Arena. A well-deserved honor. Be a special night for all Kentucky fans, and of course, Coach Smith as well. Some of those names up there, and you could put one more up there in Rupp Arena, and Orlando Tubby Smith, and. Uh, He's such a great guy, and I know the people around here really appreciate what Tubby did for 10 years. And, of course, Tony Barbie coming in here a week from Monday, yeah. longtime assistant, now coach in Central Michigan. Great to see them doing that for Tubby. Very well deserved. Being the coach here ain't easy. No. <laughs> Corner three, good from Trey Hutchison. You see, those are the mistakes. Again, we were talking about the schedule. I mean, you can get away with that versus Albany, but those are mistakes against a team they've already played, Duke, and so on and so forth. Those things got to be cleaned up. Your margin of error in December is getting ready to... Close. And I think that's what a lot of these teams are trying to do nowadays because there's such an influx of new talent coming in from the transfers and the, and the graduate transfers and, and freshmen that, you know, you've got a short window to figure out your rotations, your, your lineups, what works, what you like, your offenses, your defenses, the flow. That's why these games are so important. These guys, these guys on the floor got to understand it's an audition. You know, they're, they're playing for minutes. A 
again, no Davion Mintz available for Kentucky. One of those upperclassmen on this team. He is out with an illness. Found that out right before the game. But you see nine upperclassmen on this roster, the most ever under Coach Cow. Seven newcomers, four of those are transfers. But it is a well-balanced group. Maybe the most balanced group he's had since he's been here. You've got, as you mentioned, the depth, and you've got some upperclassmen, and not all freshmen. You've got young talent. It's a good mix. It's just yeah. they got to figure it out. You know, and there's going to be nights when it's not your turn. You got to, you got to be an adult about it. Got to handle it. Stay ready to play because your turn's coming. He might have had better teams in terms of the top five or six right. guys than this group, but I don't know that he's had a better group of 11 or 12 that he could throw out there. They, they did a little bit of, not a whole lot, but they went up and down and practiced the other day a little bit. Very controlled, you know, up and down once or twice, but very competitive. And I think that's going to really help this team in the long run, too, is that the yeah, practice is going to be great. You better show up for practice. Wheeler reach in foul on the way up, and that will send Jamel Horton to the free throw line. That's the second on Savir. Got to see, even if your man's taking the ball out of bounds and you're protecting under the basket, whatever your role is, you cannot turn your backside to the man inbound in the back. So the crowd will get into this one now as Justin Neely misses the front end. If he misses both of them, it's free chicken sandwiches. <laughs> now why is that? Uh, am I missing something here? He gets a free chicken sandwich if you miss both. Is that all game long? I don't know if it's all game, but it was just then. <laughs> she I, want went. A, I want a ticket. Where's my ticket? <laughs> Sheboy, by the way, now with eight points, 11 rebounds. Almost had 12, bounced around and off of Washington. It'll stay with the Great Danes. But don't know that Sheboy's going to get to 20. But he's sitting there, 11 rebounds, eight points, four of four from the field. Defensively, Kentucky averaging, uh, allowing opponents 63 points a game. Albany sitting here right now on 48 in the turnover, but Sheboy threw it right back to the Great Danes. It'll belong with Albany. Sheboy did a nice job of stealing that, just secure the ball. Keyway, coach went by Coach Cal. Coach Cal says, "Don't worry, I'll put you back in." Don't get mad. Yeah, I'll get you back in. <laughs> he just wanted a little defense. Sheway yeah. sitting there with four fouls right. on this possession. He's not the type of kid that oh. would get mad. Wow. Hope he's all right. Oh, it's good to be young, Dre Perry. We well, could hear that thud. That hurt me. Forty-five feet away, <laughs> man. I think I'd still be down, Dave. <laughs> Some pressure by Albany. Grady. Alley oop! Yes, sir, Keon Brooks. And that's what Grady's got to start doing some more. Don't just be a shooter standing in the corner. He's got the athletic ability to put the ball on the floor. Make a play. Boy, Sharudi getting a little frustrated. Came in as the team's leading scorer, having a tough time getting a shot off. And again, throwing lobs to these guys is a passer's dream. <laughs> you just got to get it over 
the guy that's contesting your pass or contesting your shot, all you got to do is get it over that, get it over his hands. Brooks, so, Conlon, Shibway, these guys are finishing. So Rudy fouls out with just five points, two of eight from the floor. Came in averaging 12 and a half points a game. He'd been shooting it really well. Probably the best offensive weapon for this team in terms of trusting him from the field. He was 17 of 29 coming into this game, but Kentucky did a nice job on him today. Another alley-oop, an offensive foul. Collins was holding on to a Great Dane defender down there. Looked like he just had Doles, so Doles couldn't play any defense. He had on shoulder pads and a helmet. Been holding. So four and a half to go. Oscar Shibway about to get back into this one. Catch and shoot. That one is good off the hands of Dre Perry. He now has 15 to lead the Great Danes. I like his game. He's going. He's going to be a. If he plays with this kind of energy and this kind of focus, he's going to be a, a problem in the, in the America West. Brad transfer out of Temple. Matter of fact, he was recruited by Coach Killings when Coach was at Temple. That's how that relationship developed. But there's Brooks. I cannot tell you. We've had a couple of those tonight. One by Albany and a couple, couple by Kentucky. That is a difficult shot. Fans are going to be happy with the win. They get the free chicken sandwich. All is good. Didn't you, didn't, wasn't there a time in your career where you made a couple of free yeah, throws? I didn't want to bribe yeah, you, you know. You but, got everybody uh, in the building, Tom time, right? The 98 Bulls, you know, <laughs> playing a game. Had to get to 110. We were at 108. I got fouled. I got fouled, and calmly and coolly walked to the line and knocked down two free throws. <laughs> Full of tacos from the floor. And, and again, he has a great ability to get into that lane, especially with that right hand. And he's got nice length, nice control, uh, two foot jump, little floater. And he's just, he's got length. And then the other thing that he's been doing really well recently is rebounding it, especially at the defensive end. And he can get the ball and go and get in the open floor. When he's coming downhill at you, it's a problem. Offensive foul. Wheeler moving his feet, draws the charge. That'll be the fourth on Horton. Well, a couple of charges drawn by Wheeler tonight. He just does a great job of moving his feet and showing his hands. That's the key to getting a charge. You want to take the hit, but you got to take it in the chest. Grady brings it across the midcourt stripe. Wheeler comes to get it. Grady tonight with a dozen points. Kind of quietly snuck up into double figures. Shibway. Rips the net. And again, if they're going to blitz the screen like that, that's a great slip by Shibway as the bank is open here in Lexington, Kentucky. But just slip it, get to the free throw line. Timeout by Albany. Down 22 with 2.27 to go for Shibway. Fourth double-double this season. His 16th career double-double going back to his West Virginia day. So another good night for Oscar. Washington, 20 points, six rebounds, three assists. And it just looks really comfortable out here on the floor. Did you like those two-foot jumps with his length? He leads the defense, he's not out of control. He can finish, and then he stays with the play. He's got the length, and then he's a good spot shooter. Again, if he can knock down that shot, and Wheeler can get in the lane like that, he's gonna have a lot of guys running at him trying to get to his shot. And he's gonna get by those guys every time and get into the lane and create for himself and others. 
Washington two out of three from behind the arc tonight. Grady's three out of five, but nobody else on the team's hit a three. Allen's 0 for five. Wheeler 0 for two. Kentucky overall shooting 54%, and they have out-rebounded Albany. They are plus 22 in the rebound margin. Chibwe comes up to set a screen. Wheeler sees oh. a wide open oh. 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 Collins who oh. missed the one-handed attempt at a dunk. He should get a point for that. <laughs> that was one heck of a miss. <laughs> Reddish off the back of the iron. Under two minutes to play. A foul on the rebound underneath. I say give him a point for that. Good. I was grief. I was. That's against Washington, his second. But yeah, that would have been something. Yeah, we would have been seeing that for the next two days. Still might. <laughs> <laughs> Doles, at the line. Doles at the free throw line. Be interesting to see when this Kentucky team will actually have everybody available. Of course, still waiting on top of the top and to get back on the floor healthy. He's kind of listed as day to day. Lance Ware, a little day to day. And now, according to the coaches, Davion Mintz out with an illness. Don't know how long he'll be out. But I guess if there was a, a, a time in the schedule to miss, have some guys miss some games, this is the run. And again, it's all about opportunity. I mean, you, you've got, got a condensed lineup now, and it's opportunity for Collins, you know, for, for Grady, for, for all these guys, Hopkins, and guys that are searching and looking for a role and can do it under the lights where Cal can see him and then Cal will have confidence in him. Cats at the free throw line tonight, 14 of 19. Only nine free throw attempts for the Great Danes. And you could see in practice uh, the other day that Cal spent a lot of time on sets, running offensive sets, and it's just for chemistry, for getting guys to know where to be, and, and, and the thing that's great about having a veteran team, you didn't have to sit down and explain a lot. You could run the set and then talk about what happened, or, but you weren't talking about a lot of times where you're supposed to be. You're talking about how to execute the set in a better fashion. And that's what happens when you have older players. Yeah, foul on Kellen Grady. Props to Albany tonight, though. I mean, they, they played with energy, and they came after him defensively, trapping and played confident. And, you know, again, if this, they can build off this and again just I was very impressed with you know I didn't get to see a lot of the shooter I got to see most of their shoot around didn't get to see practice or anything but I think they got a very good head coach and I think this Albany team is going to see some good days coming for moving forward with coach Killings former ball boy at UMass and coach Cal was with the minute men and played a year under Bruiser Flint the Kentucky assistant now as a walk on at UMass. I like it. I like it. Don't be a spot shooter. Be a ball player who can shoot. That was that was good. Grady now with 14. Four. Actually five Kentucky players in double figures now. There is little getting that shot to drop.
Tough start for Albany. They're going to go to 0-5. It has been uh, not an easy road. But Dwayne Killings wants people to know, we'll go play anybody anywhere. And he felt like that's what one of the, the one of the mantras of Coach Cow when he was at UMass trying to right. build that program. We'll go anywhere, play anybody. Just ask. Well, these kids are, you can obviously see in the first half, they were excited to be here, excited to be playing in rough. You know, they, they, played, they played inspired. They just don't have enough players. But again, the positivity, the attention to detail, the energy from he and his coaching staff, it's infectious. If they can take this and keep learning from it and, and do some of the things that they did tonight in their conference, they'll be a tough out. Sheboy with the rebound. Now 14 of those. Sheboy. Boy, is he good from the elbow. Sheboy adding to his totals. A dozen points, 14 rebounds. He played in some foul trouble here. And a foul underneath. Kareem Watkins picks up the foul as he just checked into the game. But here is Shibwe. We've seen this two or three times tonight. Right there at the elbow, catch, shoot, fire. And I mean, it is ripping the net. Gonna change how teams defend him. And he can stretch that out a few more feet, that's for sure. So Reddish at the line with 11 seconds to go in this one. Kentucky will go to four and one in the midst of the seven game homestand. Trying to just uh, Forget a year ago when they went 9 and 16, 8 and 9 in the Southeastern Conference. Something tells me this team's going to be a little bit better than 9 and 16. <laughs> this is a good looking group. So Kentucky will put this one in the books. They'll get ready for North Florida on Friday night, 7 o'clock right here at Rupp Arena as they win this one easily in the second half. Turn a nine-point game into a 25-point win, 86-61.